Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tel Aviv, Israel. It's day two of the FIBA Women's Eurobasket 2023. It's Group B, and what a battle. Belgium taking on the Czech Republic. A couple of one and no teams, and the Belgium uh, football team is here playing the under-21 Belgium national team and some of their famous players. Uh, they had a game in Israel, and uh, they wanted to come and watch the Belgian women play. So here is the state of play for Group B today. Uh, after this one, it'll be Israel, the host, against Italy and a battle of 0-1 teams, and that will be a crucial game. Here are the standings so far. Belgium and the Czechs winning. Well, Belgium just rolled over Israel yesterday, and the Czech Republic came back from 14 points down yesterday to beat Italy. And, uh, well... This uh, Belgium team uh, has some fans, and it's great to have some some uh, some compatriots, another national team here supporting him. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Zania Stewart. You know that better than anybody. Whenever the Great Britain women team, if another national team came to support you from the country, I'm yeah. sure it lifted your spirits. Yeah, it's always nice, especially in this group phase. Not too many fans here, but obviously when you can support other national teams, it's a fantastic moment. But it was all about the Belgium cats yesterday. They looked phenomenal. They Jeff, didn't miss. They didn't miss. They beat a couple records. They beat the assist record. They tied the three-point uh, record of the Eurobasket. And then we have Emma Messman, who leads all scorers of the Eurobasket. So pretty cool. And um, they were well-oiled machine yesterday. They really played some wonderful basketball. Yeah, I kind of wondered after the Olympics in Tokyo what would happen with Belgium. Obviously, they went into transition mode. Uh, they've had a couple of different coaches now. And, you know, no longer is Philip Mestag at, at the helm. And his daughters aren't in this team. You know, key player, other key players there is uh, Ketelar. AC Milan plays in Serie A, also playing for this uh, Belgium under-21 team. He's about as excited as anybody to watch them play. But Belgium have just kind of moved from strength to strength. And, you know, Julie Van Loo had the disappointing conclusion of the quarterfinals against Japan at the Olympics and has come back swinging. She was sensational yesterday. Yeah, she really was. She had 16 points, five big assists. They, they were really good as she went. And we saw the coach also, uh, Rashid Mazian. But now the Czech Republic and... Uh, well, the one thing that I would say about this team is they started confident, and even when they were down facing adversity, they remained rock solid mentally and came back and beat an Italy team that probably helped them because they missed some, some open looks. But this is a battling Czech team, and they've got possibilities. Yeah, and I think that's exactly right, a battling Czech Republic team beat Italy, maybe an upset, 61-58. Uh, it went all the way down to the wild, but they were fantastic. Every player, 1-12, to 12, played and stepped up in different crucial moments. So, Zany, we're now going to have a pause in the commentary, which is uh, to hear the national anthems, which I know is one of your favorite moments Always. of the day.
always my favorite. <laughs> You're laughing at me because I always take your moment because this is what it's all about when you sing your national anthem nice and loud and proud. And we saw the under 21 Belgian team, the football team up in the stands singing as well. So a fantastic moment for both teams. And fast, fantastic moment for these three gentlemen. Uh, Calling the game, Wojciech Luska, the crew chief from Poland, Mikhail Maniste from Estonia, and Franco Gracin from Croatia on the right. So Mikhail Maniste from Estonia on the left, and Wojciech always takes center stage, doesn't he? Look at him, right there behind the ball in the middle, always has to hog the show. But he did a, they did a great job yesterday, I thought, the officials overall. Yeah, I really Never going to be 100% well. perfect, but... I did think they were pretty close to it. So Belgium... Well, they're going to start with Antonio Delar, the veteran, along with Emma Messamon. Some would say maybe the best player in the world, or one of them at least. Kiara Linskins, Julie Van Lu, who's been sensational. Julie Alamont, one of the outstanding point guards. Romain Rezimont was terrific yesterday. Incredible, wasn't she? I mean, she was on fire. I was like, where has she been? Hitting she, so many threes, yeah, six she, threes. Yeah, but she missed one shot, but it was all about Emma Messamon. Was the star, the Euro League MVP regular season. Uh, season 23 Ooh. points look at that five rebounds yeah and they went to her oh she spins the ball yeah um she, they went to her often and early and what about rashid what do you think about uh, rashid messian's uh, performance yesterday too early to tell really <laughs> isn't it because they were just did he how much responsibility does he take for all those 14 three-pointers falling through the hoop 14 of 26. they were incredible and here's the starting lineup for check Renata Brezanova, as you would expect, just really led this team as the captain, Natalia, uh, Natalie rather Stupalova, Eliska Hamzova, terrific. Uh, hit that, made that big play at the end. Teresa Virolova and Petra Holoshinska, who was great, plays with a big smile on her face, took over the press conference yesterday after the game, full of vim and vigor, and right. she plays like it as well. She sure did. Petra, 14 points and four rebounds and three fantastic skills, just her, how she looks. She played as beautiful as she does. I'm just telling you, she was sensational, a real uh, edging to this Czech Republic team. As she goes, the team goes, and they were just um, a real... Uh, powerhouse I felt like they really hit Italy in the mouth and they didn't have an answer so it'll be interesting to see how they play today against another high um, team that's playing very well I think Belgium could potentially uh, medal they've been third place but I think they have a chance to um, lift the trophy I mean let's let's don't kid ourselves this you know 37 assists against Israel uh, all-time record yeah. and and you know how do you how do you describe that performance. I mean, you can only play and beat who's in front of you, and it was Israel, the host nation. They had a big crowd here, and Belgium were just comfortable. The Czech Republic, meanwhile, won their last three games against Belgium at the Eurobasket, so a little psych... Day. Well, you never know, psychological advantage, perhaps. Yeah. Hamzova was, again, uh, Patachkova, the coach, we, she was asked about Hamzova's performance and the fact that her mother had played, oh, yeah. and she goes, yes, I grew oh, up God. with her mother. Yeah. She grew up with her, she knew her, and... Uh, Patachka is now her, her daughter's coach. And um, Hamzova had 14 points. She's a tall, long and lean point guard. Um, only 21 years old, Jeff, uh, is young, but didn't play it like it at all. So it'll be interesting to see when she's got a smaller uh, guard underneath her, if uh, Van Lu or um, Elmont uh, guards her. So it'll be interesting to see the difference in the pressure. Hamzova came up with a big steal right at the end and scored the big layup and went to 14 points. And uh, it's great, as our colleague uh, Mark Mills said, that we're talking about the young players. So we are going to do it again. It's good that he's doing it again because I didn't get my boomerang in time. I okay. like to start the game with the... A real boomerang? You're yeah. going to throw it out there? <laughs> On my Instagram. Expect silly. it to come back? Okay. I saw a boomerang whizzing around the court earlier. So Lenskins goes up and wins the opening tip for Belgium. We are underway, folks. Belgium taking on... The Czech Republic, Czechs in the white, defending the basket to the left on your screen. Julie Van Loo 
running the show, and Messamon gets a, a very easy look inside the paint, scores over Stupalova. Listen, that's exactly how they started the game yesterday. Go to your star player, straight to Emma, and this time she shoots a lovely 15-footer and steals the ball. Yep, not a good start. And Belgium, just like they did against Israel, come out of the gate fast, score the game's first four points. Talking about, especially with uh, Messamon, plays at the highest level, as well as Alamon. Here we go. Van Loo now gets it up to Alamon, but she loses it out of bounds. The Cats hoping to sink their claws into this uh, Czech Republic team early. Oh, look at this move by Messamon. Just gets the lovely soft touch. She works so hard. She's the first person out here in warm-ups. Suffocating defense from Belgium, Jeff. Well, it's all about the D. Oftentimes we talk about the flair on the offense, but a whistle has blown and a foul has been called. And I believe it's on Antonio Delari. Yes, it is. So Patachkova looking, you know, there was no signs of panic yesterday when things got difficult against Italy. Here's Hamsova, passes it back outside. Stupalova left open for three. Alamont up to Van Lu. Is she going to start hot like she did yesterday? Remember, they jumped out to that 7-0 lead yesterday yeah, against Israel. Heat check because they had 14 three pointers yesterday. Here she is, Holoshinska missing. But Stupalova with the rebound, missing with the putback. Van Lu over to Linskin. This is the right corner. Messamon keeps it alive. Back to Alamon now wide open. Van Lu, that's going to be money in the bank as he's wide open. Van Lu, shoot a shoot. A good start here by the Cats. A 7 0 run. And Czech need to get it together. Maybe a timeout might be needed. Here comes Messamon, another steal for the superstar. And anybody watching this game. Right now, here goes uh, Messamon laying it up and in. If they're watching from Ljubljana, they're going to be like, gee, we, did, we thought they won so convincingly yesterday because Israel was just overmatched, but now they're taken to the Czech Republic. Look at the bounce pass, and Messamon finishes forcing a timeout uh, by Patachkova. It's high fives all around for the Cats. We're going down to the bench to listen to the Czechs. Talk about this, Azania. Well, we have Emma Messerman coming out from the rip. There she goes, shooting a 15-footer and a layup. She does it all and this steal and starts the fast break. And then a nice little dime to her teammate, Almon. So a fantastic start. Listen, she, I'm a post player by heart and I love watching fantastic posts. This is, you know, argument if you say what you want. This is one of the best players in Europe, maybe the world, honestly. Such a lovely person off court, works hard, and um, just is sensational to watch. So if you're a basketball, women's basketball fan, or even a player and a post player, try and model your game after Emma. So let's press. see what time, yep, full court press. Holoshinska brings it up. Want her to maybe start the offense. Zero Lova, yep. She's able to get it back though. Looked like she was going to turn it over, but as an over, 
Hemsova drives in back outside to Brezanova. She saw the shot clock and puts up the shot. Hamzova didn't really, I'm not sure if she had a decent shot underneath the basket. Listen, this defense is elite. Belgium is playing on both ends right now, absolutely suffocating. Check, they haven't even had a good look at the basket. And then down here, they're executing, executing beautifully and just doing a fantastic job. Good help defense, forcing the turnover. The ball goes off of Messamon. You know, it, you've, you've played back-to-back -back days. I mean, it's yeah, tough. it's not always easy, is it? I mean, Belgium are making it look easy right now. No, you're right. And this is what's so um, one of the things you have to manage throughout this tournament. It's a tough tournament. They played yesterday, and then you turn back around and play today. And then tomorrow is a day off for us all. I need a day off, and I'm not even playing. <laughs> so Holoshinska puts it up from deep, and that's what we like. Yeah. And uh, Czech Republic finally needed a bucket because they were on a donut for way too long. Well, it has to be said that, you know, Belgium cruised yesterday, whereas the Czech Republic had to scratch and claw and fight and battle to the very last seconds to win their game against Italy. Maybe if anybody's feeling fatigue, it's them. Messamon misses, and then the putback attempt by Lenskins was short and a break for the Czechs. Brezanova steps into one. And boy, that was a strong rebound by Messamon coming down with two hands. Look at the hooping and scooping from Van Lu. Van Lu again. That was short. She's just got to get a hand in the face at least to try to affect that shot. Yeah. Definitely agree with you, Jeff. Holoshinska spotting up Hamzova. That's where she was so good yesterday. She has perfected that drive, hasn't she? She got all of her points yesterday except the free throw to on drives. Correct, yes. You're right. And uh, look who's getting ready to sub in at the table, the uh, mask assassin. Rezamont and Lenskin scores down low. They do get, they set themselves up for some just great looks at the basket, Belgium. And Holoshinska missing everything, but they will keep it at this end because Lenskins couldn't grab the rebound. So Brezanova is going to go out, Vyorlova is going to go out, and Hamsova is going to go out, and the reinforcements come in. Zaitamarova, Andalova, and also coming in is number 22, Chekhova. Chekhova was... Uh a good sub for them yesterday. There goes Petra. She gets blocked, though. Impressed by the, the low, coast, low, low, uh, low post presence of Messamon and going right the other way is Alamon. Alamon, full court layup, gets the rebound, full steam ahead. Listen, Belgium are here to prove a point. Stupalova drives in, and she's fouled. So excellent work. Fouled by Manunga. That's their most effective play. Getting the ball and making those layups under. So it's been a difficult start for the Czechs, but they're only down by six points. So it's Tupolova. Good for her to, to get a basket and a little full court uh, pressure. Now they pull back. Antonio Delar into the corner. Resamont. She was on fire yesterday, but she misses her first attempt. But there again, we see one of the great skills of Mesamont. Her rebounding is sensational. She went six from seven yesterday for Resamont. a three point shot. Yeah. Here's Mesamont. 
Tekova with the rebound. Andalova doesn't get it. Petra's pass to Andalova goes out of bounds. And now she is going to get a breather. Sklenarova comes in for Petra Podoshinska. And Delar also goes out and is. Messed you up. Yes. Mbaka. Leso Mbaka. Mm -hmm. Three point shot. Zait Hamarova. Right at the end of the shot clock, no good. See what I mean? They're not getting any good looks. The defense is wonderful from Belgium, really putting the pressure on them. But also it's the defense of the Czechs that was so tough yesterday. They need to step it up, but they're giving away some open looks. Rezumal misses another. I guess you can't go two days in a row being extra hot, can you? Unless you're yourself, Jeff. You're pretty hot <laughs> every day. You do know what I mean? <laughs> So the, the foul and the players go out. And Russell Mont's going to inbound the basketball. So they will breathe a sigh of relief, the Czech Republic, that Messamon is going over to the bench. Linskins. Throws it over the guard and coming in from behind and almost a, a travel, Sklenarova. Or no, that's um, not Sklenarova, that is... Big hit. Good answer here from Czech. Down two. Just what they needed. They settled into this game. Shapova, excuse me, number 21. Yep, they're right back in it, just two points down and the defense picking up a little bit. Good rebound. And the putback is good for Belgium. Wow, and you got your post player, Linskin, standing at six foot four, slicing down the middle. Beautiful finish by her. Andalova takes on Linskins. Not a great idea. You're trying to go to the more difficult hand, the left hand, to throw up a crazy shot over Linskins, and it goes off the side of the backboard. This was Linskins. Yeah, talking about Linskins. Beautiful finish here. Nobody comes over. And look at Coach. Just doesn't even clap. He is just really focused and a foul here. And good sportsmanship from Van Loop. Sports Corrected. Well, so you're a basket woman. Yeah. There's Kamil Novak, the executive director of Europe for FIBA, chatting away, sitting courtside, watching his uh, Czech Republic. He's got a nice seat of the game, doesn't he? He's right. Actually, we have a nice seat at the game. We're right in the center. We are. We have a seat at the table. Here we go. And, oh, and the whistle blows and a foul called. And it's on Shipova. I think that was a lucky break, I think, possibly, for for Belgium. Shipov was not enamored with the call. Rashid definitely liked it. Well, the fate of this Belgium team, you know, Messamon's not going to play all 40 minutes, and they get it down. You know, how well do they perform when Messamon goes to the bench and also Alemont? Yeah, I think that's a really good point, but they've got to take a rest. Right idea, but Rezamont reached in and knocks it away. Here they come. That in transition, that pull up three, it's so dangerous. Lead goes back to nine. And the Lova picked up the dribble, I think was fortunate.
Santa. Started to pull away here in this first quarter. Billy Massey checks into the game. So Julie Van Loo yesterday was 5 of 12 from three-point range. And she's off to a good start today from deep. Yeah, she's not shy to let that thing go, Jeff. Two of four today. Here she goes, Holyshinsky missing everything. Final 10 seconds of the quarter. Here goes Van Lu. Going behind the back. Turns it over. Holoshenska looks up the floor. They got time. They got to get it off quickly. Oh, she doesn't get it off. Well, the Czechs battled back, but then Belgium, once they get their noses in front, they're tough to overhaul. They head over to the bench with a 20 to 11 lead at the end of the first quarter over the Czech Republic. Well, both teams are not shy at the three-point line. Two from seven, 29%, and then two from five for Belgium, 100%. I mean, it's only had one free throw, um, but definitely I think Belgium's in, uh, intense uh, defense has made it easy for them on offense, just getting out in transition, some quick, e easy baskets. Here is the first quarter best plays, and no doubt it's Emma Messerman stealing the ball. Looking like a point forward, not a point guard, a point forward. Did you get yeah, that? Yeah, she's got, absolutely. Yeah. She's four points, four rebounds, a couple of steals. Yeah, she's uh, legit the uh, EuroLeague MVP regular season. She doesn't miss the shots that she's supposed to make. She looks very tough bringing the basketball down with the rebounds. And I think importantly as well, Linskins is uh, raising her game a lot. We already know how good Julie Alamon is. Yeah. Van Lu has really raised her game. So even though you've had some new players come into the lineup, those players have gotten better. And yeah. also some exciting uh, other players that have come in. Yeah, you can see why Linskins wanted the foul there. She was uh, definitely hit but as she went up. Eight players um, on this Belgium team from the last Eurobasket. So yeah, we've lost the uh, Mestag sisters and coaches, and like we said at the beginning of the game, that there's a bit of change up. There's still a solid core for this Belgium team. And you can go ahead and scan your QR codes to get the courtside 1891 app. Keep up with all the latest scores over the Eurobasket Women's Tournament over this next week and a half, two weeks. And you can use that to watch the games as well. Yeah, and you can hear us. It's Absolutely. Absolutely. Vyorlova back in the game is going to inbound the basketball. As the Czech Republic start with possession here in the second quarter. Lisawa and Baka guarding Holoshinska. The bounce pass gets away from Brezanova. Right idea, but just wasn't executed. And there's Van Lu. She was fouled by Vyorlova. And uh, Belgium does not sit back. They attack immediately. They get after you. Yeah, and I think I said that just in their defense, they're tough, and then they're out to the races. If they don't have a good look at the basket, then they pull it out and then set a nice play. So you saw the five players on the court yeah. for Belgium. And now Czech gone into a 2-3 zone, changing up their defense as somebody you don't want to leave open. Well, that looked good, but rattled out. So she is really looking for that three. But as an over, meanwhile, comes down, misses one. And chasing it down, Chekova. Czech Republic looking for some offense right now. They usually have success driving. Passing it back outside. Fiorlova, and you can count that! Back to a six-point game. One of the veterans in this Czech team. Sure is. Well-needed three-point shot. Here's Massey. Four seconds on the clock, Jeff. Van Lu just patiently waiting and got in and went up for the easy one.
Brezanova with the bounce pass. Chekova back to Brezanova. Fiorlova and makes the shot and she's fouled as well. I like it, the Czechs, they're, they're, may, they're moving the ball, they're making the Belgians work a little bit more on defense. Really love that. And what they're doing is, is up faking, getting the defense up off of their feet. Beautiful finish and one. The referees are really focusing this tournament about letting the shooter land safely. You cannot be under their feet. You cannot hit their arm. It's one of their emphasis. And uh, she's and one, she's going to the line. So Rezamont goes out. Massey goes out, Alamon comes back in, and Messamon comes back in. That foul was on Julie Van Lu. How do you do? And she misses the free throw, so it doesn't capitalize. There's Van Lu again. Lisa Wai, Mbaka, bounce pass. Look at now, Belgium's passing it well. Oh, the no look pass, it gets away. Alamon picks it up. They still got time. Lizzo Mbaka. Good job, Brezanova, knocking it over to Viorlova. The 33 year old Brezanova gets it to Viorlova. Shot clock down to five. Brezanova with the pump fake. She got Linskins off her feet. Linskins did a good job recovering, and now it leads to an early, easy break. And Alamon and Messamon just so smart, immediately looks up the court. Yep, out to the races. And uh, really, Almon and Van Lu, they had options here. They go again. Lizawa and Baca knocking it away. And now Messamon, and boy, the Czechs aren't the only ones that can make the tough layups. So Patachkova calls timeout for yep. the Czechs. Stop the bleeding. It's a quick four points for Belgium. They're out to the races yet again. Tough finish by Emma Messerman. And their bench absolutely love it. Timeout. Let's listen in to the Czech. That was Van Lewis finished, and then look at that immediately. Messamon looks up the court, and Alamon races ahead of the defense. Yeah, you're so right. As soon as they get a steal, head is up, eyes are up, and they're throwing that ball, whoever is out in front. So there we go. Points yesterday, 108, Jeff, big time scoring, and now they have 26, um, a bit lower than yesterday's, but makes sense. Tougher team. So Hamzova back in the game. Supalova also back into the game. Shot clock about to expire. They got to put it up. Hamzova gets it off just in the nick of time. Well, she is just a playmaker, isn't she? Yeah. She knows how to do it. Yep. And she looked up, saw that the shot clock was running down and needed to get something up. Messamon into the paint and fouled by Hamzova. This was her, she saw the shot clock just ticking off and got it up quickly. Bounce pass, Lizzo Ambaka puts it up and in. And Messamon just kept it alive, it's gonna stay at this end. 
back and just needs to finish with that left layup and see Look right there a leader, true leader, exactly. Emma says. Listen, just lay it out with the left and she missed yesterday on the left really badly, so I think probably that was in the back of her mind and she'll sub out and uh, take a rest. Back into this zone. Maybe into Bounce man pass, man. Messamon, beautiful play, Belgium. Linskins with the delivery. At this point, Belgium's played against every defense, I think, known to known to basketball. Look at that. The hawkish defense almost coming up with another steal by Alamon. Brezanova open. Messamon again looks up quickly. They're into fast break mode. Van Lu goes behind the back. And look at the tenacious play of the Czech Republic. And it's Hamzova. Times of all, rather, with the, uh, you know, it's not just the shot making, it's the little things like that to make a big difference. Van Lu, Messamon. Well, no panic, misses the shot. Might have been hit a little bit on it. Olesinska for three. Alamon fouled, tripped up. So we're going to see some more subs as Antelova comes back in. I think that's a good idea. Just keep um, Czech's team fresh. Uh, Belgium runs very fast, and I just think if you can go into your bench and just stay with the pace of the Belgium Cats. Chekova also coming in. Two, three zone for the Czechs. That's a dangerous strategy. Oh boy. That zone is not supposed to give away passes like that. So Patashkova must be beside herself. The foul called and free throws. The zone is effectively supposed to take away anything inside, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you're supposed to, uh, you know, live with the long three-point shot. But then also what's so difficult about a zone is that it's the rebounding. You have to quickly establish, find a body and box out. And when you've got a big body like Linskins, like Emma Messman, um, it's tough. But it's also a dangerous game to play against Belgium because they've been shooting it so well. Correct. They shot 14 threes yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Yeah, tied the uh, leading three-point record for the Europe basket. Well, they got their biggest lead of the game right now. 11 points. Hamzova outside, and that three-pointer was too long from Stupalova. And quickly, Van Lu, pressure, pressure, pressure. Here we come. You can't stop us. Only we can stop us. And Messamon missed the layup, but she gets it back. She puts it up. She's the best player in this tournament, folks. And absolutely stares down the referee. <laughs> she is looking for a foul. She doesn't get it. But, oh, boy, she looked him dead in the eyes. And Sova drives in. This time, Van Lu was there, knew what she was trying to do. Shekova gets it back. And Andalova gets one to drop. I think what Rashid has done with this Belgian team, is it seems like they've really sped up their game, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Delar. Messamon. A rare air ball from her. Fjorlova. Quickly, and a chance for the Czechs. And the bounce pass knocked out of bounds. But the Czech now coming with their own intensity and pace in transition, causing a tough shot from Emma's uh, airborne. And now they're on the run. Good answer. They're only down 11 if they can just chip away into this lead going into halftime. Inbounds to Andalova. She knocks down the mid-ranger. Good answer.
Alamon penetrates and goes off her teammates' hands. Now Andalova drives down. We might get a timeout from Rashid Messian. Well, the play was right for Belgium, but the ball went off the hands of Manunga. Yeah, and uh, taste of your own medicine, Belgium. Czech Republic out in transition, lovely finish. And also their bench up and cheering each other. Timeout needed, stop the bleeding. It's tough to put this Czech team away. Let's listen to Rashid. Okay, easy basket. Well, here we are. Lovely little finish. Soft touch. Playing very, very well. And Del Lova. There she is. Nine points today. Had five yesterday against Italy. Four from five from the floor. The energy that they needed off the bench. Okay. Belgium's had their timeout. Let's see what they execute here. Important sequence here, important moment of the game for the Czechs as they have done well to stay to within seven, but you know what it's like trying to contain Belgium. Oh, there's Messamon, spins, turns, misses. Oh, and the rebound falls kindly to her. Over to Van Lu, and they dodge another bullet, but Manunga with the rebound. I would have shot that one, Emma. As soon as she jumped and on top of her, I would have shot it. And coach is saying, hey, I would like her a call. But you do get it. Uh, check it's over the limit, Jeff. They've got five team fouls now under their score. You can see five red lights turned on. So this next two minutes, 44 seconds, any foul that they make, Belgium will go to the free throw line. Well, anytime you get three looks at the three bites at the cherry, so to speak, so many offensive rebounds, you're going to score, and that is toxic for the Czech Republic. If they get a stop, yep. they got to get it. They got to get the basketball. Yep, full court press, just a slow check down. Emma Messerman with 12.8 rebounds. And she just tiptoed over the line. Paurova not able to keep it in bounds. Alamon out to Van Lu. And the bounce pass intercepted. Stupalova now has a chance to break. Zait Hamarova, though, misses the layup. Good if job. She, she's not going to get a good shot up, she needs to pull it out. Look at him, quick response. And this time the ball goes out of bounds and it will stay at descent. Yeah. And good job from. Uh, Van Lu on this end, not to foul. She got back in the defense and uh, didn't foul. And now she is taking the ball out of bounds. Here's Alamon, boy, they're just relentless. Look at, look, and talking about relentless, Messamon almost forcing the turnover. Check Kova. Taking the ball out of bounds here. Only 18 years old. Great experience for her. Bright future for the Czech Republic. So many of these players, as they have definitely moved into a new generation of players. New coach, Patachkova in recent times. Look at the defense. Stupalova with the pump fake and does well. 
Good job by her. Real poise in that jump shot. Big last minute and 15 seconds of this opening half. Can Belgium stretch their lead? Can the Czech Republic cut back into that deficit? Alamon, bounce pass, wide open shot, Messamon! Automatic. Automatic indeed. Good offense, executed that right down to the T. Emma Messamon, wide open for that jump shot. Oh boy, another turnover. Messamon just sees it coming from a mile away. And just like she was telling her teammate, go to the left hand, make it go. easy. Fundamental, she's yep. the big fundamental. Yep, let me show you by example, darling. Biggest lead of the game now for Belgium. Tight Hamarova misses. Another chance for Belgium, and they can hold it for one. And that's in fact what they will do. Well, they're in this position yesterday, the Czechs, and they're in it again today, trailing by a lot of points against a very good team. Van Lu for three, and this time misses everything. Could have been worse. The lead could have gone to 16 if that had gone in. But as it is, Belgium will be liking their position. They lead it 39 to 26 over the Czech Republic at halftime. Well, Jeff, it has been all Belgium, but Czech have made a tough run. As you see, the two point guards are having a little chat there. Here are the stats. Belgium, 60% from the two, 22%, two from nine. Uh, both teams not shooting a great clip from the three-point line as they did yesterday. And then the rebounding game goes to Belgium. 22 and 12 assists, and the turnover's pretty low for the first half for both of them. And Lava, nine points, and then Emma Messerman doing it all. We've seen her shoot the jump shot, the mid-range, the layup, the steal, full court, 16 big points for Emma Messerman. Here are uh, the second quarter highlights. I think, uh, Jeff, uh, Czech did a much better job matching the intensity that they needed to come in this game. I think the first quarter they kind of got punched in the face and the gut, um, but what I do like is their resilience and their answer back in the second quarter and made their own run. Yeah, it's, I mean, we're seeing good things from both of these teams. And I, I think I think we can say with all certainty, as you look at Messamon, I mean, they, they just play at a different level. Yeah. And they They're smarter, yeah. they, they, they don't stop. Uh, they never stop. The Czech Republic are a team that are growing. We see some deficiencies, especially more so against this defense that's uh, being employed by Belgium. Right. But, uh, but they're, they're on the right track. Yeah, they're on the right track because yesterday they got the dub against Italy. You that know? took a lot of pressure off them coming yes. into today. I think you're correct about that. But it's just a different level. It's a different level, yeah. and you're it's right. obvious. Well, uh, Czech is ranked 23, and uh, the Belgium are seventh, and really. It's no slight against the Czech Republic, really, that they are down by 13 points, in my opinion, against this Belgian team. Well, especially when a Belgian team can put up 108 points yesterday, so uh, scoring across the ball. You need character. You need chemistry. FIFA Basketball World Cup is the peak of the game. It's the toughest competition in the basketball world to win. That is why I will be there. Because when you win for one, you win for all. Messiman, Messiman, huge amount of 
advantage against Baron. Belgium with an eight-point lead and really dominating the game right now. Now another steal. This one from Zander Lucini, the Italian defense, coming to the floor. Oh, behind the back pass. Feel it to Zander Lucini. One of the blames of the game. defensive effort because it just got over the top. Anderson in transition, the real threat. Puts up the float of the two, took all the contact and still got him to drop. He's got to put it up. Run off the, off the glass, they count the three. And at the end of the first quarter on the back of the last second shot. Well, what, what can we say about Emma Messamon that we haven't said already? I mean, she's, she's. I think it's, can we just go ahead and say she's the best player in this tournament? Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's not even close, is it? Do you know what I love about her? I think she's obviously a superstar and she just steps up every game. She comes with the same mentality. She puts the work in, like I said, at the beginning of the game. Um, she's out here probably an hour and 20 minutes before um, the game has started. That's probably a WNBA kind of style of warm up. Um, but she comes. Or here. Euro League women. Or Euro League women. The or best league. The best league in the world. Yes, absolutely. Um, not as long as a warm up, um, but definitely she comes in. She she puts in the work, and you can see that it pays off. She's absolutely done everything across the board. She's assisted. She's stolen the ball. She's helped her teammates, and this is a true leader. Um, you know by example, and then also helping her teammates out. Also looks like she's got a little bit of sunburn. Yeah, she does. Back to the, 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 the opponents are feeling the burn from her right now. Yes. Gabriella Andalova with nine points, uh, sparked the team just like she did yesterday. And, you know, you have to, and I think Belgium have been in the same position that the Czech Republic are in. You know, your, your program is moving in the right direction but then you're going to come up against teams that probably just have that more experience. They're sharper. Uh, and it's no, again, it's no disgrace to be losing the way they are. Cause it was, you know, they had that thing down to seven points with just under two minutes remaining. So uh, this, this Belgium team can put points on the board in a hurry if you don't rebound and if you allow them also to get into transition, but, but Andalova with nine points. Yeah, Andalova and and uh, her teammates. You know, overall they're playing hard, and uh, they're just trying to figure things out. It's early in the tournament; they've got a win in the bag. That's the most important thing for them. Mm -hmm. 
And I think um, yesterday when Israel was playing Belgium, the head coach said, um, hey, we're playing the best team. We can give more, we can do more. This is experience that we need. And I really like that from him. Obviously, they were getting blown out at one point, 45, 50 points. But if you can come out and you can put a good performance against a team that could lift this trophy, in, in my opinion, uh, is looking like a well-oiled machine that can do uh, some damage in the later stages of this tournament. If you can put in a good effort, if you can show, you know, that you can play well against them, um, builds confidence, you know, but what you want from the Czech is not to just pack up shop and, and the, start the bus early. You want to play hard for the 40 minutes. Absolutely. And I remember one of the best things I ever heard in a press conference was uh, from Luis Scola talking about, you know, sometimes when Argentina didn't get to the podium, and I think they didn't even finish. I think they went out in the quarterfinals or even before that. But it's like, listen, you know, you're not always going to get to the podium. Sometimes, you know, you just – you can have a good tournament right. even if you finish sixth or if you finish seventh. You know, there's always a positive way to look at things. Sometimes yeah. you're going to have – higher expectations and I think Belgium are in a position now where they should have high expectations. Right. Yeah, you're right. And these two teams are in a different place, right? Um, we've seen in the in the optimal facts, Czech Republic has beaten Belgium uh, three times before. But that those days, um, you know, they had killer shooters and, and, and Czech was probably at its prime. Now, bang, it's Belgium's turn. They've put in a good, solid six to eight, maybe even pushing ten years, where Linskins, Emma Messerman, uh, Van Lu, they've been a solid squad, a unit that have played together, that know each other. The chemistry is there on the floor and you can see it. And it's just a different, um, you know, space where Czech have a fair few young bucks in. They're 23-year-old, 19-year-old, 18-year-old. They've got some young up-and-coming um, players that this is their beginning of their journey. And, you know, in, in five years or the next Eurobasket or the one after, they would be a Belgian team that have been together for a solid amount of time. They will be. And, like, you know what? We heard before yesterday's game against Italy that, hey, this is going to be a good team, much like they did against Latvia. Perhaps those two teams don't get as much hype as some of the other teams because they haven't been up, yeah. up, up at the top as much. Yeah. But, you know, times change. And... This ship, this check ship is moving in the right direction. Right direction. It's yeah. got the wind in its sails right now. Ooh. Or you could say perhaps it has left the port or it's on the high seas. <laughs> right. It's not riding the crest of the wave yet. Right, thanks for the dad jokes. It's not Jeff Taylor without dad jokes, ladies and gentlemen. But no, the, it's just what? I love it. I, I tailor my game around it. Do you like that one? Do you love my bad jokes? I love you. Okay. They're not bad. I said Back dad. Oh, dad? Dad jokes. Well, I am a father. Well, there you go. So, uh, I uh, I think uh, the Czech Republic will come out and... They have to answer. And they're going to they're gonna try to make this thing close. I, I expect Belgium to go ahead and win it, though, convincingly. But we'll see. Maybe the Czechs will surprise me. Well, just there in the second quarter, we saw Czech make a little run and have to call Bel um, Belgium to call a timeout. So they have it in the tank for sure. Um, but like I said, it's a long tournament. Um, it's a day off tomorrow for both these teams. So you want to play well, feel good going into that day off where maybe you can just have a little rest and dip your toes into the um, Adriatic Sea, I think, is the one that borders Israel. Don't no, Mediterranean. Mediterranean, shoot. I knew I was close. Adriatic's closer towards part of the... Sorry, my geography's off. Italy, oh. the Balkans. Oh, you're right. Thank you. This That's is why right. we're a team together. This is where Americans are really good when it comes to geography. Are they? Yes. I don't know. Sorry, I saw That's what that. they say. Anyway. <laughs> um, but both the teams are heading to the bench. we got under... Coming up to two minutes left. And... Um, yeah. How did you evaluate Belgium's performance at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup 2022 in Sydney? Um, that's, a, that's a testing. You're going to make my memory because I did work that game. Um, really good, actually. Uh, let's just listen in to the timeout real quick. We have to do the same thing, okay? As we said on the hand. We played to us ourselves, okay? This team yesterday was in the same situation. Manus 10, minus 10, under 10, at the half time against Italia. So, we can react, you know, we can react, but we can also react. 
Oh, I love that. Let's listen in to checks. Time out. Sorry, my check is good. Uh, half time talk, I guess, but I did hear Belgium. Uh, but before we do that, scan in the barcode to get the FIBA Women's Eurobasket app in your smartphone. I do have because it on my when phone. you need stats, when you need information, when you need results, when you need fixtures, but, uh, um, when you need news and information interviews, that's where you go for. Real go quick, ahead. Belgium's t um, timeout. It's not timeout. It's half time. To, no, no. Well, um, stop it. Um, talk right there. Yeah. He said, "Let's respect ourselves. Okay. Let's make sure uh, we come out focused." And I think that's a fantastic point because he just said, "Hey." Czech were just in this point um, against Italy yesterday. Let's make sure we come out. And now, do you have some more stuff for me or no? No. No, go ahead. Okay, that's it. No, I was just going to say Belgium obviously didn't have Messamon for their last two games at the World Cup. Right, right. And that's why they weren't able to really... Uh, but they do. They did get a bronze medal at the 2021 Eurobasket, and they're trying to do better. Anyway. They have, they've had... Also, 2017, they finished third. So they finished third at the last... 2017, and then the last time in Valencia. So we are underway. Second half, Brezanova comes out, misses with the three. They scrap for the basketball, and it's going to be the scrappiness, the fight that they're going to have to show if they're going to have a chance to get back in this game. Boloshinsky gets it down low and uh, bumped over Stupalova. Wide open Van Lu, bring some rain, no. Nope. Hamzovat comes back the other way. Stupalova, she had the mismatch, now the double team comes. Brezanova has it, back outside Stupalova, they pass it around. And the long rebound, Brezanova beats Van Lu to it. Stupalova turns around on the baseline and gets the shooter's roll. Yeah, and she's been calling for the ball because she's been having the mismatch with uh, Van Lu on her. Now, Polashenska called for the push on Van Lu. Ball goes back over to the checks, and I guess another thing is, as we look at this highlight, uh, this basket by Stupalova, the bounce. Mezion was with the team already at the Women's World Cup as an assistant coach to Demery, so they do have that continuity, don't they? Yeah, they've been with the team for quite some time. Stupalova spins. This time, Mesamon not giving anything away and forces the travel. Good defense, solid defense by Messerman. Mr. Palova plays at Jabini Bruno along with Hamzova. Delar, they whip it around the perimeter. Here she goes, Alamon. Good box out. Hamzova brings it forward. Holoshinska puts it up from a corner but misses. That could have been a foul. Al 
Come on, down low to Messamon. Oh boy, just Emma, automatic Messamon. Yep, and she just looks at Alman and just gives her a cheeky smile. See what I mean? They just well glued. The chemistry is beautiful. Real poetic basketball. Oh, nice behind the back pass, but it gets away. Now leads up to Alamon and lays it up and in. You turn it over against Belgium and they punish you immediately. Stupalova puts it up from the elbow. Brezanova. Three-point shot, Alamon. That's Alamon again, wow. Time out. Obviously, you can't go ahead and say she's gonna be the MVP of this tournament, but she Listen, is definitely the front runner. Well, why not? Look at that. Why not, Jeff? She um, was incredible yesterday. She had 23 points, nine of 11 from two. She didn't shoot a three. And uh, today she's got 20. And today she's got 20. Why can't she be the MVP anyway? Let's listen in to the time. <laughs> Let's don't forget that Emma Messamon also has five steals. That might be her most impressive stat, but this is where she's just pouring in the points today. She's doing it all. Stealing the ball, looking for her teammates. Look at this beautiful little jump shot. Nothing but net, splashing it through. And then a high five. Kamal wants deep breath from her. We're in the third, and she has 20 points and a double, beautiful double. 20 points, 10 rebounds, and she will get a break. Well earned rest, and she'll sit on the bench. So the lead has grown to 17 points for Belgium. Flashing their title credentials here in Tel Aviv on the opening two days. Olesenska catches it in the corner. And the former North Carolina Tar Heel goes up and buries it. She asks for a, 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 a foul. I think she's correct on that. It's quite a lot of contact, but referees are letting them play. I love it. And the pass down low and Massey, Billy Massey. Cuts in from the corner and scores. See what I mean? Great timing. And fantastic timing on their plays. Brezanova short. And Linskins with the rebound. Belgium has size, quickness. They play D, they can bury the three. They have a they, bench. They pass it like a well-oiled, what would you call it? Machine, whatever you want. Um, but what I was saying yesterday is what makes them so tough, and I think any championship team, if you want to be great, one, you've got to play defense, but two, you've got to have a deep bench. And they go in eight, nine players deep. Well, that pass goes out of bounds. So the turnover gives it back to Tachkova's team. And, you know, she said yesterday, she was asking her, what did you say when your team was down by 14 against Emily? She goes, listen, 14 points, this is basketball. We can come back from that. It's 17 points right now. And there's no signs of weakness in this Belgian team. Those uh, poor Czech fans today. 
people think they, they see the writings on the wall, don't they? Yeah, but good for them making the journey to Israel. And uh, obviously it's a group phase, so there's three games in this group stage. Is that Santa check up there? He's wearing the Santa Claus hat. <laughs> Ball goes out of bounds. Was it tapped out of bounds? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Such it's a turnover. A but Tachkova looking for anything she can get. That was a good one, Jeff. Santa check. <laughs> so easily tickled. We'll see Santa check again in this Eurobasket. He's unmissable. Linskins, quick pass down low to Delar. Her pass intercepted. Shupova brings it up. Ooh. Zova. Her pass tapped by Billy Massey. And Shupova puts up kind of a crazy shot. So Sklandorova comes yeah. back into the game and yeah, it's five seconds on the uh, clock, shot clock, so what's the play? Something quick. Belgium just took another second off that clock. Shakova not able to control the pass. And the Lova inbounds it again. Zait Hamarova. She launches. Linskin soars in for the rebound, and Massey showing some toughness for Belgium. Lisawa. Baka. Look at Belgium pass the basketball. Oh boy, that was an authoritative catch from Linskins. Van Lu. It's raining. Raining three-pointers yet again. Ring, and it's a fantastic look. They knew they had the mismatch with Lincoln's down low. She catches the ball strong and finds the hot shooter. Three of, three of nine now today. Not as good as yesterday, but still a threat. She's had a few go in and out as well. Oh, look at Lenskins. Get it out of here. Chekhova. And she puts up an air ball. Shoot a shoot. So obviously she's going to get off a high clip. Here it is. Linskins finds the high arcing shot. Barely touches the net. And the uh, Belgium. Oh, look who it is. It's our AC Milan fan. Yeah, the young and under 21 Belgium. Ketelar. Yeah, Ketelar. Under 21 Belgium uh, football or soccer, however you like to call them. Charles de Ketelar. He will be in that Red Devils team. Soon into this. So are you, I might add. Am I? What, yeah. into this game? Getting into this game. Yeah, I'm a fan of Belgium. Are you Belgian? No. No, but I really enjoy good basketball. This one, Baka drives. She's going to get it back. And, oh, you love at least how Sklenarova stuck her nose in there to try to get that basketball back. Zamat, that's what we saw from her yesterday. Mask assassin, listen, she was on fire. She missed only one shot in her 21 points yesterday. Andalova, good work with Shekova. Shekova gets it outside. Andalova now on the baseline. And just uh, Belgium are making this Czech team without Varachkova, who's missing the second consecutive game uh, because of injury. She would make a difference, but it, it didn't make sense to play her today if she's not fully fit. Makes sense, and then they've got a day off. A 14-2 run by Belgium. They've absolutely come out in this third and killing uh, Czech's hopes to get back into this game. Resamon back in the game, and again, when you see Resamon hit that three-pointer at the other end, just underlines how important the bench players have to play for Belgium if they wouldn't be at the top. Oh, the bank is, you know what? Open. Banking hours in Tel Aviv. 
Friday. It's all right. Rezamon again. She's got a soft touch. And she's a lefty. And the lefties always look better, don't they? Yeah, sure do. I know what it is. It's the mask. I told you, she's the masked assassin. You didn't believe me. The masked marksman. Sklenarova tumbles. And a foul called. Just the quality. So there she is, Rezamont. Again, look at this. I mean, there's just no substitute for having a player when a team is chasing you to be able to go find the open spot. Just get her the basketball and she will kill it. Oh, Alamon almost forcing the turnover. And the Lover going for a second straight crazy three pointer, but this time doesn't have the luck. I think she thought the shot clock was running down. But it wasn't, it wasn't, I guess it was tapped, but not, they never have possession Belgium. Oh, nice pass, Messamon. How is uh, Emma Triple Double Messamon doing right now? Is it possible? <laughs> Let me know, stats man. No, she's only got three assists. Ball goes out of bounds. She does have five steals. Yeah. So five steals away from a triple double. Yeah, and she just tipped that ball out of bounds. He stole that one. Haven't, haven't seen uh, Billy Massey today. We've seen Becky Massey. I think I've called Becky Billy. So apologize, apologies to the Massey family. Alamon drives in. Tough to guard, Jeff. So much movement in uh, Belgium's offense, constantly passing, moving, cutting, pick and rolls. It is a difficult task for Czech Republic to keep up with them. A lot of the girls right now on their knees, just catching a breath uh, because there's constant movement. It's very dis difficult. She makes one of two. Corner and another miss. And the logo with the rebound. Nice pass over to ship of a. Is that a pass? Yeah, it was. Salon comes up with it. Messamon spins, puts it up, and fouled by Andalova. Here's Emma's move. Nice spin move. Gets caught on there. Puts both hands in. Really could have been. Yes, it is. But they call the unsportsmanlike. Yeah, like? yeah, because she grabbed both. She of didn't her play arm. the ball. No, yeah. at all. Um, so it'll be two free throws, and Belgium will get the ball back. Twenty-two points. A messman. Messi, right at the buzzer. I'll tell you what, her stock has gone up in this tournament, hasn't it? She's getting the minutes, and she's making the most of them. And a beautiful last second play, and their fans love it. Beautiful smiles across the board. They knew they had a few seconds left because of the unsportsmanlike. They got the ball back. Belgium in command, 64-33 over Czech Republic at the end of three. His third quarter stats 
Belgium is all over it. 50, excuse me, 75% getting to the free throw line and then shooting 62% from the two. Czechs really struggling in that third quarter. And here, talking about the third quarter, are the best plays. And that was a soft touch. Tech really needed, and but really it's been all Belgium this whole entire game. Their defense has been elite, it's been top tier, and then they get out quickly in transition. And it's been the Emma Messerman show, which I am a, a big fan of. And, and we do tend to watch more of their scoring. And I think because they have scores, it's Everywhere. the first thing that kind of kind of comes to your mind. But Talk about their defense, why it's so good. Well, I think they're moving off of each other. They're helping, they're long, they're lean, they're getting in the passing lanes, um, and they kind of know. Um, you can see when they have the mismatches, they three-man switch out. So if an Elman or a Van Loo gets stuck on a big player, a Linskins or a Emma Messerman switches them out quickly. So um, they have their own kind of system, especially how lo it looks great on offense, but they're, they're very um, well oiled on the defensive end. And defense turns into quick offense. And they like the, the transition layouts. Feels like they've gotten better in that department. Scanning the barcode to get courtside 1891 in your smartphone. So you can watch all the games, see some interesting features, you name it, it's there. Good hands from Hamzova. Not able to come up with the basketball. Now she feeling the pain. Asaman missing the three. Oh, behind the back pass to Asaman. Oh, wow, they call the foul push on Chekhova. The baby 18 trying to make some room and, and box out. Gets called on the foul. And now the hold on Hamzova. Yeah, Hamzova just had to uh, hit Emma Messerman pretty hard to front crack, uh, cut it her face. Well, that's right, Van Lu, you're on TV. TV. Get used to it, will you? It's going to happen a lot if you keep hitting all those shots, you and Linskins. Oh, nice dump, and Messamon knows exactly what to do with it. And you know what's so great about that? How hard and early she started working with her body, pushing the defender up, and the pass right on the money. And the Belgian bench is chanting defense, defense. They are into it. Oh, look at that. Lisa Mbaka comes up with the steal. And goes in and makes the shot. This is not a Belgian team to be taken lightly, folks. And Messamon with the kick. Maybe could join the Belgian football team up who's in here too. I think it's, you know, we were talking about this uh, the other day while sitting on the beach and looking out over the Mediterranean, yeah. sipping pineapple juice were about <laughs> if you're going to be a, maybe it was, uh, I was talking to Mark. Yeah. We were talking about the, uh, what separates the USA from everybody else. It's oh, like yeah. they bring in oh, yeah. players. It was me. Also, oh, now you remember. Yeah, I remember. Sorry. I was they bring to... in, they bring in players that are. Elite. Elite. They, yeah. they could have two starting fives, and this is where they bury you because when they make substitutions, there's no drop-off. And I think there's no question the Belgium starting five is good. And what I see in this Belgium team is this next five is coming in and is playing better because this is not a bad Czech Republic team. They're making them look bad. Yeah. Yeah. And I just think it's the... Um, the kind of style is what you want to grade. Uh, like I said, the starting five and then the next five that comes in plays the exact same way. It's not yeah. like they're getting bum minutes. They're coming in, they're playing the Belgian way, and that's exactly what you want. And like you said, why USA is so good because uh, player six, seven, eight, nine, ten yeah. could be the starting five. 
to start the game, right? But they're on the bench, and I feel like the same here. They've obviously got their main players who have been together, but that six, seven, eight, solid. Oh, tough finish from Andalova. How about that? Well needed bucket. But I think the one thing that we also probably would agree on about this Belgium team is they've been playing the beautiful game for some time, really. Yeah. I mean, you go back to even the FIBA Women's Eurobasket in 2017 in the Czech Republic, when they got that third place, they got to the podium. And especially in 2018, when they beat France in the quarterfinals they did. They did. of the World Cup yep. in Tenerife. Yep. They play, so they played the game that anybody wants to watch. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's they, riveting stuff, isn't it? I would definitely agree with you. And they play together as a unit, and that's why it's so fun to watch. And then right on cue, Resamont with an air ball from deep. <laughs> Here's Andalova. Olesinska. Good pass. Paurova back outside. Rezanova for three. Shakes her head because she knows that she needed to make a couple of those earlier when the Czechs had a chance. Dilar and the star from Salamanca misses. There she is getting it back. Geldof. Well, Geldof is on the board also. Everyone who's played, have they scored? I think so. I'll tell you, these Belgians, they've got quite a few players in Spain, don't they? Yeah, they do. Ooh. Holoshinska falls down. She can't stand up, or it's a travel, and the jump ball has been called. Geldof plays at Zaragoza. And in fact, that's where Holoshinska is going to be next year, Zaragoza. Moved from Grand Canaria. Van Lu back in the game for Almont. See what I mean? When you can sub Almont for Van Lu, it doesn't drop off. Although both of them started. Okay, but I'm just saying right now we're in the fourth quarter. I know what you quarter. mean, yeah. Van Lu over to Massey. Becky Massey drives in and is fouled. Chekhov is going to re-enter the game for Brezanova. Shupova also in the game. Great Britain, your former national team got a big win yesterday they over sure the host, did. Slovenia. They sure did. I was very happy about that. You were so happy that you were watching it when you had to <laughs> be commentating <laughs> like in 20 seconds. And finally, you came running out. I was watching it in the back. Um, I can, I can support them. Go ahead. I was just going to say again, that's the Belgium under 21. Um, I can National support team. them because then when we go, Football. when we go to the um, other side, I won't be commentating. I'll be sideline reporting. <laughs> so I like to stay. You Are know. you joking? No, I don't want to be biased. Well, I can't wait to hear it, Azania. Here's Andalova and offensive foul. Holoshinska not enamored with that call. Yep. Let's have a look. She's saying she's literally hugging me. Well, Delar did have her left arm draped around Petra Holoshinska. I'm going to stick up for my fellow heel. Oh, Although yeah. she did go to Illinois for four years before that. You did go to UNC, didn't you? Yes, I did. There's Van Lu. Geldof. Ooh, bumped out of bounds. Delar doesn't give up, and it'll go this way.
So here she is bringing the basketball up the floor. And Holoshinsky gets it into the corner. Harova on the baseline. And another break, another bucket for Van Lu. Timeout. I'm not sure anybody's going to beat this team. 73-48. What a performance from the Cats as they go to 2-0, and, oh, and well, they'll play Italy to try to go to 3-0, and, oh, and the Italians, I think, watching this, know they need to win their game today against Israel. How about this? I love this graphic. The team energy tracker, starting five minutes played. You can see for the Czech Republic uh, how many minutes uh, their starters have played. And even more for Belgium, which is perhaps a little surprising because they've, they've played uh, because they're up so big, but look at that. Messamon's played 24 minutes. Alamon's played 29. Van Loon's played 25. Yeah. Delar's 23. Like Somebody what? needs to go tell Rashid to sit him down. Let him rest. Well, they, other than uh, Van Loon, uh, is still in the game, but he's gone to his bed. Actually, I'm just joking there. I mean, is that, you think it's good that they're playing this many minutes? That's enough now. You usually, if you're, if you're killing a team, then you would empty out your bench around five minutes or three minutes, so. Okay, well, Messamon, Messamon has sat down. For quite some time. Uh, Linkskins, also, Linskins yeah. is out. Yeah, Alamon. Alamon is out. Arova, good move. And Virolova missing it from deep. Geldof, she See, she's got a lot to offer in terms of skill, but also length and height. Van Lu. And the pass. Manunga. Stays at this end with point two. The only thing they can do is throw it up near the rim and get a tap. That's the only thing that's allowed here. Yeah, they can't come down and land. Got to tap the ball. Let's see what they have set up here. Well, you got Geldof out there, so that's your player that you can, yep, here he goes. They set the pick, and oh, they almost got it done. Can you believe it? That was the only thing they could have done, and she almost scored it. And they had a look, a great look, in fact. And that's how you know a team is ready. They've got a play and a, a, for every situation. You're exactly right, former Florida Gator. There's a three-point shot, no good. So it goes to the other end, Delar, and uh, Hungry Turkey's underway. Hungry could be a surprise package. We're hearing some good things about them. They are. They 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 um, broke away, didn't they, in that game yesterday? It was a tied game, and then went off. Now, are we going to see Great Britain get their comeuppance today against France? Do you think? Well, they've played two games versus France in the uh, the pre Euro basket. I think they got smacked one by twenty, and then lost by. Uh, Eight maybe, and was only down two at one point. Good pass, Geldof. Ronette not able to sink that jump shot. Zaitamarova taking it to a different gear there. Let's 
74-40. Did not, not surprised Belgium are winning, but I am surprised it's by 35. I thought the Czechs would keep it a little bit tighter here, but they just have not been a match in this second half. And all Ramette needs is another chance, and this time she buries it. Yeah. Look at that, look who that was. That was Largi Ramazani, who plays in Spain for Almeria in the Premier Liga. Now the other end, Viorlova. You know what I do love, Jeff, is that Czech Republic is still playing hard. They're putting their head down, getting to yeah. the rim, causing the referees, having to uh, call a foul. Here's a lovely three-point shot. From Ramet. Ramet. And nothing but net in a splash, and there he is. There's Largi, yeah. Ramazani, the winger. They like it. You can't believe he's made the cap. You're a star, what are you talking about? Of course we're gonna put the camera on you. I love when other sports come and watch basketball because I don't think they understand how exciting basketball including, is. Including fencers? Or guys that play table tennis? I or don't know. More team sports? Team sports. That shot, no good. Linskin's back in the game also. Well, she must have been looking at the game tracker and filled the felt that she needed to get back out there. <laughs> and good job, Sight Hamarova. Parova. Oh, nice footwork from Parova. Finish that point there for her. Don't forget Vrachkova not playing. She's an important player in this Czech team. Ramet thinking about launching another one. Nope. She's gonna hand it off to Manunga. And she's fouled. So Manunga bends the knees, releases it beautifully, and makes the basket. It's good. As well, and you can hear the big cheer from the uh, under 21 Belgium football team. Fantastic. Again, they played Israel in a friendly. That 2 0. I think they won. Why did you watch it? Here's the three point shot. No, I did my research beforehand. Thought I'd know who's in the building. You know, Ramet was, you remember her from the World Cup? She played. They're missing uh, Ben Abdel Kader, but she couldn't play because of injury at this uh, FIBA, Euro FIBA Women's Euro Basket. Traveling is the call. This is why Mbaki was there. Both Masseys. So we're getting a good look at Mbunga, who's going to go out of the game now. So now we're seeing both Masseys have gotten Sisters, minutes. Yeah. Quickly to the other end. I mean, she's like a bullet out of a gun, isn't she? Out of home. She is lightning. And still going very hard. But like we said, points do matter in this group stage. Well, in the whole tournament. There were some Belgian fans as well that aren't football players <laughs> cheering on the team. Who knows? Maybe they used to kick it around a, a little bit. They look like football fans, though. Delar. Oh, nice turn, but then she trips, and Massey gets it. No look pass. Rabbit. Another three pointer. It's the feel good story, the feel good factor for Belgium. Everybody's happy. There are no frowns allowed in the Cats locker room. So 
Sight Hamarova at the line as, like you say, this Czech team continues to play hard. So I think they'll bounce back from this, but uh, I don't think there's any doubt about it. This is the title contender that everybody should be talking about right now, the Belgian women's national team. And uh, Belgium right to the end. Jeff did not take their foot off the gas, even trying to score that last second. Well, more evidence that Belgium are the team to beat. They win it convincingly. 84-41 over the Czech Republic here in Tel Aviv to go to 2-0. Well, there they are. Another job well done for the Belgian Cats. And uh, the Czech fans have to just acknowledge their team played hard, yep. but yeah, they got acknowledged. They got beat by it. not just a better team, a much better team, and that's no slight against the Czech Republic. That is just a compliment to Belgium. Yeah, and they were incredible right down to that last second. I said they just are on a different level, and it was shown yesterday and then today. They were incredible across the way. They'll clap to their fellow Belgian football fans there at the stats. 58% for Belgium from two and 36 from three. The rebounding game goes to Belgium, 44, 31. Assists, 30. They had um, 37, which is the record. Messerman, Van Lu and Armand leading all scorers. I cannot say enough about Emma Messerman. Big time scoring, had five steals this game and also had a double-double in rebounding. Fourth quarter, best plays and no doubt it will be Emma Messerman. We can't say enough. It's going to be her show this whole tournament. She always turns up and plays very, very well. So it was the Belgium show. I quite enjoyed it. I did. I don't think uh, the Czech fans enjoyed it, nor did the Czech players. <laughs> but uh, as so. neutrals, we enjoyed it. And you know what? To yeah. be the best, you got to beat the best. Correct. And, uh, you know, Belgium have taken their knocks. They've, over the years, they've gone up and they've just haven't been quite good enough against the USA, uh, against, uh, you know, Japan knocked them out, the quarterfinals, the Olympics. But if it doesn't kill you, you know what they say. It makes you stronger. Or at least it can, and it seems to be making Belgium stronger. Yeah, and they really are. I just think, um, like I said, we can't say enough, but 1 to 12 is on the same page. They have a great chemistry. They're here to win. They're here to do a job, and they just look focused even from uh, their practice. We got to see them practice uh, three days ago. I mean, it was all business for them. They just came out. They were solid across the board, um, and they just look really laser focused, and I'm happy for them. They look good. They've, they've had enough of the bronze medal, and they're trying to go for gold. Yeah. They've had enough finishing third. They want to finish first. And uh, the trophy, more importantly, they want to lift that yearly women's trophy. It's yearly women. They want to win that. They want to lift that Eurobasket women's trophy, FIBA women's Eurobasket trophy. And they want to also punch their ticket to the qualifying, the FIBA women's uh, qualifying tournament, FIBA women's basketball qualifying tournament yep. for the Olympics. Yep. Um, but let's just talk about Czech. I think they did a fantastic job playing all the way down. It was just not enough, putting up 41 points. That is the Belgium defense. We're talking about the Belgium offense, but they were fantastic also, Belgium on defense. But Czech, they got the big win that they really needed yesterday uh, versus Italy. So I hope they don't feel too defeated today because they just played maybe one of the best teams in, in this tournament. So if they can just keep building, take a day off tomorrow and come back the following and... Uh, play Israel as their last game. They're looking good. Czech can make it. They have made it to the next round. Well, they have to. There you have it, folks. Belgium 2-0, Czech Republic 1-1. Italy 0-1 take on Israel next in a battle, what looks like a battle for survival, yeah. a chance to get to the qualification for the quarterfinals. That game will tip off at 3.30 local time here in Tel Aviv. And right now it's 1.15, in case you're wondering. Thanks for watching, everybody.
Voilà Julie, eh bien, félicitations. Deux sur deux confirmations, les belles jeunes 4 sont bien entrées dans cet euro. Hein. Oui, c'est sûr. On a vu que là, ça fait deux belles victoires. On a montré un beau match hier et on savait que ça allait être compliqué de directement devoir se remettre dedans parce qu'on n'avait pas eu peu de temps pour, de, pour se reposer. Mais au final, aujourd'hui, on peut être content à nouveau du job. On savait que la République tchèque avait gagné contre l'Italie. Donc, on savait que ce match-ci pouvait déjà nous ouvrir des portes pour les quarts de finale. Donc, donc voilà, je pense qu'on peut être content.